All right, guys. So this is gonna be a test of the Orange Open LRS system versus the Dragon Link, and we're gonna start off with the Orange um, Open LRS first from Hobby King. And this setup, we're both gonna be using the same antennas for both systems. So this is my test rig right here. That's a radio. That's an Orange um, Open LRS using the Diamond. SRH771 antenna and then we're using a ready-made RC whisker monopole antenna for the receiver all right so we're gonna start this up powering that on powering up the receiver and basically it's set up so that when we lose signal between the radio and the receiver it's going to kick into fail safe by that servo okay so it's on right now when it loses signal for example if the radio is turned off the servo is going to move all right so let's get started and I'm gonna leave the radio right here on the ground while I drive around the block and see if failsafe kicks in. So on this next next test, we're going to be testing the Dragon Link version two, and it's going to be on high power mode, and we're still using the same antennas as the Open LRS. All right, right there, and then here is the receiver, still using the same antenna, same setup. I'm going to go ahead and power it on. Same 
same as before when we go out of range or we lose connection failsafe kicks in as you can see when we shut off the radio this servo will move and that's failsafe and that's connected and there's the transmitter for the dragon link on high power Alright guys, so that was a quick test. Um, I know it's not too scientific or anything, but it's kind of a real world test just to give, me, give you an idea of the difference between this, which is a $30 transmitter with a $20 um, receiver. So that's $50 right there for this setup versus this setup which is going to run you about $289 close to $300 for this setup now granted if you buy this for $290 it's going to come with a much better antenna for the transmitter and the receiver to begin with all right um, you're going to have cheap crappy antennas for this but you know with that said if you buy good antennas for this setup that's going to run you about an extra uh, I don't know $40 alright so all in all you're getting a pretty good package with this but comparing this to this this is gonna win hands down okay we've gotten about two fail safes uh, with this setup and no fail safes at all with this one so and they were both using the same antenna like I said on the transmitter and the receiver so alright um, that's that's all I have if you have any questions uh, please comment down below and if this was helpful please like and subscribe all right bye